So hello and what's up? In the previous video, we successfully drove our stepper motor. But the two problems we were facing is jittery steps and heating. So if you haven't watched the previous video yet, watch it in the cards ever. And let's get started. So, a quick Google search shows that stepper motors can be warm and even hot, burn your fingers and stuff like that. The only reason is we are always energizing the coils. And even if a stepper motor is stopped, there is something called holding torque. And to achieve that, we have to apply constant current in the coils. So, if, if, even if the motor doesn't rotate, we keep on ener energizing the coils. And that's why they heat up quite a bit. To solve it, they suggest using heat sinks and even fans. But for now, I am driving my motor in 12 volts because as I have showed you in the previous video, it is a 24 volts motor and we are driving it by 16 volts. But then also it was heating up. So now I decided to operate it in 12 volts and I have seen in 12 volts also the torque is decent and probably will fulfill my requirements. And for the jittering, it is normal. As this motor is not that precise, as per step is 7.5 degrees or 48 steps per revolution, it is not enough. So when you are driving it slowly, they are getting more time between the steps. So those jitters, because the steps are not that small. They are 7.5 degrees, which are pretty big steps compared to more smoother motors like NEMA 17 for example you can get 200 steps per revolution or even 400 steps per revolution motors easily and as the spec suggests it will be much more smoother as the step angle will be much more smaller you think I'm stuck right? I was stuck bro, I was stuck? what? absolutely not we can micro step the motors now what is micro stepping in mass? basically driving them in fractions of steps that means we can drive them in half stepping then we can get 48 into 2 steps per revolution and also we can 1 fourth step that means 1 step will be divided into 4 steps that means we will have a total of 48 into 4 that is 192 steps now how you achieve you may ask so this is what I found on Instructable of a guy I will leave the link in the description down below. As you can see, he manually showed how to drive stepper motors by manually stepping it. And also, he showed an example of half stepping it. So basically, half stepping means splitting that one step into two steps. As you can see right here, in one, we energize both the coils and then in the next step, we remove power from one coil. That is how sharp step travel in between those steps. Like this, we can do whatever number you want, like one fourth, one eighth, even one sixteenth. But here comes the problem. For those insane amount of micro steps, we need proper drivers, which will calculate the current from the coils and do sort of a constant current thingy, so that the movement is smooth. Or in other words, it will monitor the current in those two coils. Because as you can see, we are energizing both the coils in one step, in, in the next step, we are just energizing one coil. That means there will be variation, variation between the power of those two steps. That means one step will be having higher torque and the other one where we are providing power to only one coil, torque will be less. But in our case, we only have an N298N which does not have any micro-stepping capabilities. It is much more difficult for us to micro-step the motor. But I did it anyways. So. Here is a full step example. We are just using 48 steps per revolution and a whole revolution will be completed in around 9.6 seconds. Now see, you will see the difference between a full step and a micro step. So this is the full step. See how much it jitters. See, it completes one revolution in 9.6 seconds, 
and stop for one second. Now, same amount of revolution will be there, that is 9.6 seconds per revolution, but we one fourth micro step it. Let's see. See how much smooth it is? It is traveling same amount of revolution in same time. And also stopping for one second after one revolution. And here is the example of half stepping but without different voltages. So you will still be able to see some jitter because in one step we are energizing two coils and in other we are only energizing one coil. So when we are energizing the two coils there will be a slightly greater torque. But obviously it is better than the full stepping. See? Holy f And here is a side by side comparison of the length of the code. As if one fourth micro step it to drive the whole thing in its 16 steps and for full full stepping that is 48 steps per revolution you only need four steps and put them in a loop so see on the left you can see the micro step implementation and on the right you can see the full step implementation so for the full step implementation as you can see there are only four steps that is one two three and four that's it and for the micro step there are a couple of more things going on just ignore those just see one two Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Manual micro stepping that is. If you can get a proper stepper driver, then this thing will be simple as because you don't have to ma manually do it. And I'm manually doing it. See, I'm making adjustments for slightest voltages in both the coils so that my motor moves smoothly. And that's how I achieved that smoothness. That is a lot of work. As you have to manually see what the motor is doing and then make adjustments. And also, if this thing is working in 12 volts flawlessly, doesn't mean that it will work on 24 volts as well because the currents will be different and the torques will be different in that case. Even this doesn't work in clockwise direction, only work in anti-clockwise direction. If you put clockwise, then the whole thing starts jittering again. That is only because of the sharp and the coils. Because you don't know that. That is where the advanced drivers comes into play. They monitor the current always and step according to that. The current is always constant. That means no torque mismatch between the steps. All steps will be same torque. Like that, the steps will be smooth as f In the next video, I will talk about the gear ratio. So till then, this is Malar, you are watching Auto Syllabus and I'm signing off.